Okay, so we're going to tie the October Caddis, uh, that name Dicus Mecus. This is a fairly large caddis, about a size 10, that uh, you find emerging in the fall, though it's there most of the year. And we're going to begin by putting down a few wraps of 010 lead. I've already uh, beaded this hook with a bit of uh, or a black bead. A little bit of glue on there just to make sure she stays. And uh, I'm going to use a uni 6 hot thread here. Just go ahead and put down a thread base. Bring her back up to the top. For a rib, we're going to use a uh, copper rib, copper wire rib. Just go ahead and start that. I like to Take that tab in and fold it over. That'll keep that rib from pulling out. Only takes a second to do. Okay, our dubbing today is a uh, amber colored hair dubbing. You can see the color there. This is a pretty robust caddis, so we're gonna go ahead and dub a big thick abdomen on this caddis larva. We have it spun up there the way we want it. Let's go ahead and begin our add a little bit more. And now our copper rib, we're just going to counter rib through that hair. Should be good. Tie her off. And then take our, twist our uh, wire there to pop it off. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little crystal flash, a little pearl crystal flash, or pearl eye stub. And we're going to make a dubbing loop. Now you really don't need a fancy dubbing tool to make a dubbing loop. What you do is you just take your thread, hold your fingers in it like so. Lay the thread over the hook shank, a couple turns around it. And there you have your dubbing loop. And uh, just hold it open with your fingers like so. Take your material. Lay it up in there. It won't take a lot to do what we want to do here, so I'm not going to get super carried away. And just go ahead and twist your, your loop. And you can shag it out. Now what we're going to do is, kind of like when we do a soft tackle, is as we take a turn, we're going to stroke those fibers back. Like so. A few turns will do. All we're trying to do is just kind of get some a buggy translucent casing around that uh, abdomen. You see how it kind of leaves a translucent casing around there. That's what we're going for. And then we're going to use a little bit of you can use wood dock or a dark mallard. This here is a hooded meganser feather. This will be our wing. Go ahead and cut a bit off. Set it up there about the length of the hook. Tie it in. Take a wrap in front and lock her down. And then the thorax on this pattern is just going to be a dark ostrich plume. Something like so. There are fibers in there. I'm using a uh, Oh, two or three plumes here. 
I like to give them a little bit of a twist. Alright, and there's your Dicus Mikus October Caddis.